bad luck for seven years. So our, our hypothesis was that if we break an individual mirror, you will have bad luck for seven years because it imbalances your psycholog psychological thoughts. Okay, and then our variables that we said was the dependent variable was that number of bad uh, un unlikely experiences for seven years. Our independent variable was how you break the mirror and then what superstitious gender and age and your state. And our constants were a number of years of bad luck and the same type of mirror. Um, the control was people not breaking the mirror at all. Like, yeah, not, not breaking it. And we were tested by measuring the brain activity before, then, and people who break the mirror and after they measure their brain activity for the next day. So the way of the official work is we would recruit people, and then we would have question them to see how their psychological state of mind is, and then we'll break them out into four groups. A male and a female group that will break a mirror, and then a female and a male group who will not break a mirror, which is a control group. Then uh, each individual breaks uh, the same kind of mirror in the same room. And then we will measure the events of bad luck each year for seven years, since it's uh, you get bad luck for seven years. And after seven years, we will see which group had the most events of bad luck. Awesome. Anything else, guys?